Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So before we get started, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. In this video, we will talk about getting retired and living a frugal life. The key to living frugally yet comfortably in retirement is knowing the difference between frugal and cheap. Paying less for inferior quality is cheap. Paying less for similar or superior quality is frugal. Beyond that, it is all a matter of being methodical in your search for frugal comfort. Frugal budgeting aims to achieve a cost-effective lifestyle in retirement that does not sacrifice comfort. This involves knowing not only where to cut costs, but also how to do so. Frugal budgeting is not haphazard. It is thoughtful and documented. For most people, this involves creating a repeatable monthly budget that projects out a full year to allow for quarterly, semi-annual, and annual expenses like income taxes, real estate taxes, and insurance premiums. Target proportionally. A frugal budget considers the proportion of spending for each category as a way to find value in savings as efficiently as possible. The Employee Benefit Research Institute wrote down how people 65 to 74 spend their money, beginning with home-related expenses, which take up 45% of a retiree's budget. Next comes transportation at 12%, followed closely by food at 11%. Health-related expenses are just under 10% of the budget, with entertainment, clothing, and other expenses consuming 10.5%, 2.9%, and 5.4%, respectively. What is the FIRE movement? FIRE is a movement where people adopt extreme saving methods in order to have financial freedom. While early retirement is the goal for some fire savers, for many it's about having the choice to decide when they work. For some it's as simple as being given the freedom to afford to work part-time. The fire movement started in the US but has a growing fan base in the UK. Its main ideas originate from the 1992 book Your Money or Your Life by Vicky Robin. The aim is for you to follow the methods in order to retire early by being frugal using extreme saving methods such as setting aside half of your earnings, generating an income through passive investments. It appeals to those who want to quit work, are dissatisfied with consumerism, want to gain financial independence, move their retirement age forward. It seems to have gained more appeal as a result of the pandemic. One in four 18 to 34 year olds setting early retirement as a new financial goal according to research by the wealth management firm Money Farm. What are the principles of the FIRE movement? FIRE involves saving as much of your income as possible, up to 70%, living exceptionally frugally, paying off all your debt, including your mortgage. FIRE's magic calculation says, you need to build up a net worth of 25 times your estimated annual expenses and spending to achieve financial independence. You should then withdraw a maximum 4% from your pot each year. Choose a lifestyle. The most obvious thing to target first is where and how you will live, your home. Do you want to downsize from your two-story house to an apartment or condo? Relocate to a warmer climate or a small town? Do you want to try living a nomadic life in an RV or on a sailboat? Or are you like many people who want to stay put, at least for now? It is important to think about the lifestyle you want in retirement and apply frugal strategies to it. Downsize for savings. For many, including those who decide to stay put for now, downsizing is part of the equation. Smaller homes are less expensive to buy and maintain. Downsizing also provides an opportunity to sell or donate household items that are no longer needed. You may be able to save money by using family and friends and renting a truck instead of hiring a moving company, since you will have fewer belongings than you did before retiring. Invest. If you left your money in a poorly performing savings account, it will be eroded by inflation. You need to invest it instead to give you savings the best chance of growing. Most fire savers invest in low-cost tracker funds, which mimic the performance of a stock market. You should use a stocks and shares ISA to shelter your investment returns from the taxman. Earn more. It's not all about saving. The next step would be to try and boost your income. This could include taking a part-time job or extra consultancy work, asking for a pay rise, changing jobs with a better salary, starting a side hustle, 
retraining for a higher pay job, trim transportation costs. If you have two cars, sell one. Retirement may also be a good time to buy a newer, more fuel-efficient vehicle. Be sure to also look at ways to reduce your auto insurance payments to see if you can cut costs there. If you are planning to buy a motor home, a smaller Class C might make sense. Class of motor homes are expensive to own and maintain, as well as costly to drive. If you plan to live on a boat, you may not need a vehicle at all. A frugal approach to food. The best way to be frugal with food is to eat at home. Create a menu, build a shopping list, and stick to it. Impulse buying should only enter the picture when you come across an unexpected bargain. Grocery shop at super centers, dollar stores, wholesale clubs, and farmers markets. Many stores have senior discount days with 10% or more taken off your entire bill. Save on tipping when dining out by looking for cafeteria-style or fast-casual restaurants with limited or no-wait staff. Some of the nicer ones have excellent food offerings, table-side drink refills, and even staff to clear your table after you finish eating. Early bird specials, especially in resort areas, offer additional savings when dining out. Help yourself to better health. It only makes sense to stay as healthy as possible. That means staying up to date on vaccinations and flu shots. Get and stay fit by walking on a regular basis. Walking is free, an excellent way to stay fit. Medicare Advantage plans are often less expensive than traditional Medicare. The downside might be a limited range of physician choices. Schedule elective medical procedures after you have met your annual deductible and avoid out-of-network doctors when possible. Take advantage of free preventative services that might be included in your plan, like breast or colon cancer screenings. See your family doctor periodically for a checkup. Entertainment options. Unless it is necessary for reception, eliminate cable TV, or at least reduce it down to the most basic package. Add Netflix or Hulu for movies and other streaming options. Museums, art galleries, and many live performances are free or discounted to seniors. Check for discounts through AARP or AAA if you belong to either of those organizations. Many schools allow seniors to audit college classes for free, without credit, clothing, and all the rest. Ask about senior discounts everywhere you shop, even if there is no sign. You might be surprised to how many places offer, but do not advertise them? It never hurts to ask. And as you have more time than when you were working, use it to your advantage. Go to thrift stores, attend garage and yard sales and swap meets, grow your own food, or at least some of it. The bottom line, do not get up early. Waiting until daylight saves electricity. Give yourself plenty of time to get where you need to go and save on gasoline. One of the biggest enemies of frugality is rushing. Rushing does not just waste energy, it also wastes resources. Finally, do not try to be frugal about everything all at once. Being frugal is not meant to be a punishment. Enjoy your frugal lifestyle and stay comfortable for less. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. Also, subscribe to our channel for more frugalism videos. Thank you for watching.